But once progression happens, as you said, once you start taking over the world, once you start controlling it, then you need those diverse ideas, you need those diverse uh, opinions, you need those diverse psychologies. And then that's how you're able to expand and be better. And then as you saw, Roman Empire was able to expand for that reason. The Ottoman Empire was able to expand. Now, in terms of why, because I never answered your other aspect of your question, why is it that things are different now? The difference is, is what we were talking about earlier. Why is it people think numerology is haram? Why is it they think astrology is haram? Why do they think that a lot of these lost sciences, and there's many more within Islam, uh, physiognomy and so on and so forth, that people think that they are haram? It's because in the early part of Islam, we it was a very rational-based religion. And, it was, and what happened was, when you looked at the sects of Islam who represented Islam, such as the Ottoman Empire, it was very rational-based thinking of religion because Islam or the Quran is a very rational uh, book. But then what happened in recent times is with the house of Saud taken over, some of the deals they had with some of the Salafists and so on and so forth, that idea became prevalent. And now they, even though they're still the numerically the minority, but they're the vocal minority they have a lot more power in terms of finances they have a lot more if you look at social media if you look at any of the landscapes media they are highly represented and so therefore when you're per perpetuating a certain idea all the time then they all think it so that's why they'll you speak to a muslim generally speak and you'll have someone on there and they'll say numerology is haram but for example now when i'm sure we're going to do a segment on numerology where you're going to tell me a bit about your western numerology i'll no, tell course. you a bit about I'll tell you a bit about ours and I'll do a bit on you 